so here at Horseworld we treat every horse uh, differently. They all have their unique personalities and some are really confident in things and some are not so confident in things. So a training plan really needs to determine where they're starting at and what you feel they are capable to achieve. Every session we try and do here at Horse World, we try and aim with something that they can achieve. So for some horses that are super confident, it might be going through scary tarpauling and um, the foam noodles and things like that. And for some horses, it might just be stepping over some poles. Um, it's really important to kind of know where your horse is at and where you want to get your horse to. Um, and someone told me a very, very good way of looking at training, and that is to look at it as a staircase. So try and put as many stairs into your training plan to get to the next level that you want to be at. And sometimes it's okay if you need to stop, think about why it's not working, and maybe break it down and add an extra stair into your staircase to achieve the goal that you want. Obviously, as a trainer here at Horse World, we are trying to get our horses as desensitized to normal life as much as possible in the outside world. So that will be the tractors and the cars and the Kubotas that are on site. But in terms of the obstacles we use in the school, obviously poles is something that we use for physical um, building um, as well as a confidence building is um, stepping over things. The water tray is more for going over things that are abnormal. They don't look quite floor-like um, and it's putting their feet onto different surfaces. So that can really help for when it comes to loading to sand onto the ramp from the floor. Um, and obviously you can build up to a bigger sheet of tarpaulin or add water to the tray. Um, obviously the water tray is designed as a jump filler that we jump over, but we don't use it as a jump filler. We use it to get them to walk over different um, things. Um, the narrow walls that you've seen in some of the videos, you can make them as wide or as close together. Again, they're jump fillers, but what we use them for is getting the horses to trust us to go through narrow spaces. And again, that can be great for loading practice when the partitions are coming in. Um, and again, working here with rescue horses, a lot of our horses have to be seen by the vet and sometimes on inspection need to go into our stocks. So that can be a, a great starting place to get them confident to be able to go into there. I think agility and obstacle training are a great way to bond with your horse. They're a great way to teach your horse new skills. Um, and they're great for exercise for those ponies that can't be ridden. So every horse that has either been retired from ridden work or physically can't do any ridden work, it's great for them to have something to think about and something to learn. Um, and it's a great way to bond with your horses um, and do something that's not just bringing them in and out of the field. The most important thing is safety. So make sure that it's a safe environment and you're with people that can help you and support you. Um, and then start small and grow. So start small, see what your horse can do, see what your horse is willing to do and then build up the confidence and the um, advancedness from there.